Hello, this short movie is going to show you how to create another moderator to take any participant and make them a moderator. Uh, you might find this useful if you uh, want to give them the opportunity to share their own desktop, um, to uh, provide a presentation, to take you on a web tour, um, or for some other reason. Um, so all you have to do is to select the, the participant you'd like to make a moderator, then go up to the tools window or the tools menu select moderator and give moderator privileges. Uh, it will ask you are you sure you want to give moderator privileges to the invited participant and it would give whatever name it is and you say yes or no. Typically you'd say yes. Now that person you'll see gets changed to being a moderator. Now in this situation I'm also this invited participant so this version of uh, Blackboard Collaborate now has become active because it says hey you're a moderator now and as a moderator the first decision you get to make is to whether or not you're going to record a session. We haven't been recording this using Blackboard Collaborate so I'm just going to say no I'm not going to do that. But now, I'm, uh, now I am the moderator, the invited participant and I can do everything else uh, that the other moderator was able to do. So I have a full set of tools now. Um, I, ha I can do anything that uh, any other moderator could do. Um, so that's how you make someone a, a moderator. If you'd like to take that privilege away, let's say, if, let's say I'm the original moderator. Okay, if I want to take away the privilege from the, the person I invited, I can just go up to Tools, Moderator, and I have to make sure I select the right person. Tools, Moderator, and Take Away Moderator Privileges. And so if I do that, uh, it just takes a basically demotes that person to being just a regular participant. Not unimportant, but just a regular participant. Another way I can make someone a moderator instead of using the tools menu is I have this little menu next to everyone's name and in here one of the selections, one of the opportunities is give moderator privileges. It works exactly the same way and um, then that person becomes a moderator again. Okay, I can also, as you can see there, I can also take away that moderator privileges just by using that menu as well. You'll also notice in this menu I can control their audio, their video, their chat, their whiteboard, and any other um, permissions. So if someone has forgotten to hang up the microphone, I can take away their audio privileges and that will hang up the microphone for them. I can just give them back by selecting it once again. So it's a simple thing to make another participant and moderator. You might find it very helpful, especially if you have students who are, who are giving presentations.